What's going on, Mouth Maniacs? I am currently in my car driving, if you couldn't tell, and I am on my way to a all-you-can-eat pizza buffet restaurant. I filmed here before, but I figured since I don't have any food challenges coming up, I'll give you guys some content, maybe see how many slices I can put down. I think my previous record is 55, so maybe I'll try to hit 60 today. We'll see how I feel. But uh, I might also throw in some salads and some pasta too, so this is just gonna be kind of a max out. I'm not really going crazy here, but Figured I could make a video out of it and maybe uh, give you guys something to watch this week. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm in the restaurant. It's a little bit loud here, so I'm gonna keep the commentary to a minimum, see how many slices we can do, and I'll throw in some salad and pasta along the way. See you back when the first plates come out. Wasn't much pizza up there, so I started off with the salad and five slices. What's going on, Mouth Maniacs? Thanks for tuning in to another video this week. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. And I decided to bring my camera along with me for this video when initially I hadn't planned on it, so consider yourself lucky. I am at a place called Infinito's Pizza, which is a pizza buffet similar to Cece's, located in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. They also have pasta and salad, and some dessert pizzas as well. Like I said, I wasn't planning on making a film here, so no real goal. Just me enjoying some pizza, some pasta, and some salad along the way. Now I want to talk about a few different other things related to competitive eating, and kind of how I'm currently thinking about what I do and my YouTube kind of persona. We can get into that later in the video though. I want to talk a little bit more about the restaurant first. This is located in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, like I said, about an hour outside Philadelphia. They have some great employees and customer service here. They always make sure you get your custom pizza when you want it, and they always keep all the pizza flavors they can stocked up for customers really nice, really accommodating, and I've never gotten any bad attitude from being there and eating too much. As you can see, I'm still going through the prices pretty steadily. It only took a minute or two between each empty plate for me to go up and get another five or 10 slices, so I really enjoyed the amount of pizza they had. Let's go up for round three. Back at the table with 10 more slices. It was pretty loud in the restaurant today, so I wasn't able to do much commentary along the way, which is why you're hearing me in voiceover right now. But the pizza, like I said, was kept fresh, which I really enjoyed. I threw some rego on, on it and enjoyed some of my favorite slice flavors, including this ham hoagie right here, which has ham, oregano, Italian seasoning, and tomatoes. I think onions as well. Really good stuff. I enjoyed a lot of what I had over the course of this meal. That is one part of this restaurant that gets a little old, is the sound of them cutting the pizza on these metal trays, which is very loud. But you get used to it after a while, and it's kind of unique to be honest. <laughs> Alright, I'm back after a few minutes. Five more slices. And some pasta. As I mentioned in the intro, I think my previous record is 55 slices here, and I'm gonna try to shoot for 60 today, so we'll have to see how I do. And as you can see there, I also have a plate of pasta, which is another nice thing about this. You can switch up the flavors, get a plate of salad, build your own custom pasta with all the fresh side ingredients, and then get back to pizza if you want, or even the dessert pizza that they offer. So really, you have quite a few options here for a reasonable price of about 8 or $9. That's why I really like this place and why I'm able to go through the plates so quickly. Gotta, again, thank the staff here for being so supportive and being so responsive to any of my requests and all the customers, really. I'll be back with some more plates. This is another restaurant that I know, Notorious B.O.B. Bob Shout has filmed out in the past and he's put up some pretty impressive numbers. I can't top him though. Another 10 slices guys. This will take me up to 40. 
Now, as I mentioned, I kind of wanted to talk about something about my YouTube and how I got into competitive eating and kind of how I see myself evolving here. It's come to my attention through talking with others that they think some of this is unhealthy and I can certainly understand their viewpoint, although it's been something that I've enjoyed doing, max out meals and competitive eating, eating contests, food challenges, and the whole YouTube thing too. That said, I kind of realized that to some degree, I have been not following my own words of advice. I say stay hungry and stay healthy, and I think some of what I've been doing isn't healthy. Yes, that's pineapple on pizza, again. Now when I say this, I'm not talking about competitive eating in general, just how I've recently approached it. I've become hyper fixated on food and calories. Five more, we're keeping it conservative. This has resulted in me in losing some weight, more than I'd like. So I've decided that I'm going to take a step back, try to get my weight healthier again, and try to have a better mindset around food, competitive eating, and preparing for challenges. This is their highest calorie type of pizza, I'm pretty sure. Barbecue, bacon, cheddar, cheeseburger. And to be honest, I really don't know what this means for my YouTube channel longer term, but I'm going to be taking a pause here for a bit. Let's see if we can get up there and get up to 50 slices and some dessert slices. This will take me to 50 slices, plus I got some dessert slices. With that said, I want to thank everyone for all the support over the past few months, coming up on a year in the winter. But I also want to say I don't encourage anyone to get into competitive eating to the level that I am in any way, shape, or form. What are you up to? 48. And I know there can be a lot of misconceptions about competitive eating out there in general. So all you can do is kind of educate people that aren't aware of just how unhealthy or healthy it can be depending on how you approach it. But this also goes for anything in life. So I want to say guys, thanks for all the support again over the past few months while I've made this channel. But promise me that you will do whatever makes you happy, but do it in a healthy way. And listen to those around you who support and pray for you. So one last time guys, make sure you're staying hungry and staying healthy out there. That's 50 slices of regular pizza, plus four dessert slices. I'm feeling pretty full, but I also feel like I could fit a little bit more. I got three more regular pieces of pizza and four more dessert slices. This is gonna take me to right around 10 pounds. I'm pretty full actually now that I sat for a few minutes. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can get through it. you're full when you don't even want to eat dessert. I'm going to use as much of this apple slice as I can. Do my outro now so that when the battery inevitably dies, I don't have to put a new battery in and do it. But as always guys, stay hungry and stay healthy out there and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.